morning guys how's everybody doing today it's um sunday morning february the 16th um i'm at a park but um i'll be doggone if it ain't closed <laughs> it says uh, that it opens at noon i mean that's crazy because you would think that a park would open early so that people can go early in the mornings and uh, walk their dogs and and have their early morning walk so I don't understand it, but um, I am going to get out there and walk around the perimeter of it. And it is 37 degrees, so I have to be careful. I've been very healthy this year, and I do not want to make any kind of mistake that would um, compromise my health and cause me to get sick. I am taking the, what is it called, Simbacol? You know, the um, elderberry juice. I'm still... Or the elderberry syrup, I guess that's what it is. I'm still drinking it every day. And I'm drinking my liquid kunal. And I'm taking my um, handful of vitamins that I don't take them every day. Although I put them out in my little um, Limoges China bowl. But um, it usually takes me two days to take them. Because it's my belief that you should take your vitamins and your medicine uh, one pill at a time. Because I think it's just better that your body can absorb the one pill instead of getting them all getting mishmashed together and trying to absorb and do what they're supposed to do in your system. But I must be doing something right because I have not had a cold. I haven't had, um, I think I had a little summer cold for a little while, but it, it cleared up pretty rapidly. But I've been very healthy since I got over the trifecta, which was last um, February and March, I believe it was. And y'all know how sick I was when I had that. I do not want that returning at all. But that's not what I'm here for today. To talk about myself is definitely not what this video is about. But to talk about my subscribers who have reached out to me and asked me for prayer. Um, I do have a few names written down. So we're going to have a little short prayer and um, pray for these people who are having facing some health challenges and other problems in their lives um y'all know that my channel is about love and acceptance and encouragement and i do encourage you to leave your prayer request in the comments uh, you can send me an email if you want to request prayer and i do pray for y'all each and every day even though i don't pray for you on video uh, you're in my thoughts and prayers uh, in the morning when I say my morning prayers and read my devotions and getting my day started. I think about you, and uh, at the end of the day, at night when I when I get on my knees at the foot of my bed and read my Bible and say my prayers, I think about you too. So um, I do have a few names here, and I want to ask you to please pray for these. Um, Irene Soares, uh, she's been sick with the flu. Um, I hope that you're feeling better by now, Irene. And I hope to get an email from you today saying that you're all healed and you're back to normal. And, and you're back to making satin pillowcases for everybody. Um, also, Johnny Overstreet, uh, he's having a lot of problems. Um, he has lost a few family members recently. And his husband um, is going through some challenges and, and grief and um, some family situations that they have asked for prayer. So we will we'll remember you, Johnny, in our prayer today. Also, my very sweet and lovely subscriber, TTMR, is having gallbladder surgery today. Now, she has been very sick for a very long time and has had several health challenges and the good Lord has pulled her through, and I know that God is going to pull you through today, TTMR, and um, you're going to overcome this gallbladder surgery, and, um, you know, it's a very common surgery, so I encourage you not to be afraid of it, and just look forward to when you get that old diseased gallbladder out of your body, and you're going to have strength and energy, and you're going to be able to eat everything that you want to eat, or at least I was, so let's hope that that is the case for you also. And I was no longer lactose intolerant either, so it was a win-win situation for me, and I hope that it will be a win-win situation for you too. And we are thinking of you today. 
and uh, my very dear friend Brenda Richardson. Uh, she's having a lot of problems with her heart. Um, she's been undergoing a lot of tests, and she is um, expecting to have some procedures done. So we will remember you in prayer also, Brenda. And uh, Brenda Camps, uh, she has a pinched nerve in her neck. Uh, she just had an MRI, and Brenda, um, I just want you to know that I've been praying for you every day and thinking about you every day, and I know that you're going to overcome this, and I know that you're feeling better uh, every day because you have a positive attitude and, and you have strength, and um, you're going to get through this. And uh, Carrie Allen, I'm so sorry that you're having so many problems with your diabetes, honey. Um, I will definitely be praying for you every morning, every night, and every time I think of you during the day. And I just know that God is going to help you and pull you through this. And God is going to give your doctors the knowledge that they need to treat your diabetes and to prescribe the right type of medicine for you. And you're going to be up and out and running around the block before you know it. And um, Delane Lauderdale, um, y'all, Delane lost her precious son Slade uh, two years ago on um, February the 15th. And, you know, the early years after you lose a child, um, they are the most difficult uh, because you're just uh, flooded with this you know, rush of memories and, and the longing to have your child back. And uh, it just hurts you, I mean, to your core. You know, it, it's like just having your heart ripped out of your soul when you lose a child, uh, especially a child as young as Slade was and um, as, long as, my, as, as young as my precious Jeremy was. Uh, it's very difficult to overcome. And I just want you to know, Delane, that I've been praying for God to give you the strength and the courage that you need to deal with these holidays that we have to face without our loved ones and uh, the anniversaries, which are very difficult. And uh, that anniversary is um, the death of our loved one. Uh, but that day has gone, and I know that you got through it. Thank you for sending me the email and knowing that, letting me know that you're okay. But I want my subscribers to lift you up in prayer, and I want you to feel their love in their arms around you <clears throat> and embracing you with, with love and sympathy and, and condolences and most of all understanding that, that we understand uh, some of the pain that you are having to endure. So uh, let's go to uh, our Lord and Savior in prayer now. Um, our dear, most gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer now today, and I want to thank you, dear God, for this beautiful day that you've given us here on Long Island, New York, and for giving me good health and the opportunity to be able to get out and drive around this morning and have a nice cup of hot coffee and to come to this park and to be able to take a walk, to have the strength and energy and the good health to be able to take a walk around this park and just to get fresh air and for these wonderful simple pleasures that that I am still able to enjoy and I just pray that you will let others here in my YouTube community and my YouTube family to be able to enjoy these simple pleasures also and dear God I just want to lift up the names and um, the needs of my subscribers who have asked me to pray for them, and one is Johnny Overstreet. Dear God, you know what his needs are and the needs of his husband and his family. Oh, dear God in heaven, I just pray that you will touch this family and give them the comfort and the peace and the, the almighty strength from God. And I just pray that you will lead and guide them in the right direction and give them comfort and dear God I pray for Brenda Richardson you know that she's undergoing a lot of tests and she's having problems with her heart dear God and you just know what her needs are more than I do and more than she does and even more than her doctors do Heavenly Father please meet her needs and heal her 
Also pray for Brenda Camps with the problems that she's having with the pinched nerve in the back of her neck. Dear God, please heal her. Please take away this excruciating pain that she's enduring and just give her peace and comfort and most of all healing. And my dear, most gracious Heavenly Father, please just take care of Delaine Lauderdale. This is such a tender and difficult time for her, having to um, live through the second year anniversary of her son Slate's tragic death. Oh, dear God in heaven, please just give her comfort. Please just soothe her soul and her heart and help her, dear God, to get through this and to find comfort in knowing that Slade is with you in heaven and that you have his his love and his interest in your heart and in his mother's heart and that you would just give her peace in her heart and knowing that Slade is with you and is at eternal peace. And dear God, I pray for Carrie Allen that you will please take care of her diabetes. And Heavenly Father, please just give her doctors the, uh, the knowledge that they need to prescribe the right medication for her. And I just pray for healing for Carrie. Dear God, please take care of T.T. Amor today as she undergoes gallbladder surgery. And I just pray that you will restore her health 100% and just give her good health and happiness and strength and energy. And God, I pray for my dear friend Irene Soares, who has been suffering with the flu, that you will please heal her body and make her strong and healthy again. And dear God, you know that my sweet, adorable friend Guang, she has been sick with a very bad cold and sinus infection. And now that she's on penicillin and antibiotics, I know that she will heal and that she will get well and be strong again and be able to return to work. And dear God, I know that I have missed some of my prayer requests. Please forgive me for being lax and not writing their names down. And I just pray that you will remember them for me, Heavenly Father, and that you will meet their needs. And it's all of these things that I pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So, um, I think Jill is cooking breakfast for me today, so I'm going to run over there and get a bite of sausage and biscuits, and I'm trying to talk her into cooking a meal and letting me film it, because I know y'all enjoy watching her cook as much as you love watching me cook, and I'm getting, trying to get myself in the mood to make some, um, chicken and dumplings. <laughs> I wish um, I knew where to find the frozen dumpling strips like they have down south. I just don't think that they're going to have them up north here. But um, I know that y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, all of my subscribers that live down in Louisiana and Mississippi and Georgia and Alabama, um, you know, you can buy those frozen dumpling strips there in the freezer. Walmart might have them. I'll have to look for them the next time that I come. But I just absolutely hate having to. Um, it's it's not they're rolling out of the dough, but it's finding enough space to roll it and and to keep it from sticking to whatever surface you're rolling it out on. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's what I'm trying to get in the mood to do is make us some chicken and dumplings. I know that y'all are hungry for some good old. Glenda Sully Southern Recipes and Southern Cooking, and I'm hungry to get in the kitchen and, and to do it for y'all. So I want to thank you so much for being here with me today. I just love you from the bottom of my heart, and y'all just keep on coming back. Bye, guys.